This afternoon, search teams are combing a Yavapai County campground for any signs of a man who disappeared more than a week ago. Jeff Stambaugh was last seen at the Granite Basin Recreation Area on September 30th. And as Team 12's Jade Cunningham reports, family and friends are doing everything they can to find him. 20,000 minutes, 336 hours, 14 days and counting. It's been a lot of restless nights. That's how long Jeff Stambo has been missing. His sister Pam Chambers says it feels like an eternity. It's hard to believe that there isn't a sign or even a trace of him in two weeks when they've done all they've done, the helicopters, the drones, the people, the dogs, search parties every day. Like, what is, where is he? Stambo, who's an avid hiker, was staying at the Yavapai campground in Granite Basin. The sheriff's office there says on September 30th, he gave his cell phone to the camp host to charge, but never came back to get it. We have a lot of faith in the sheriff's department that's been uh, doing all the legwork for us. They've had the helicopters, the drones, the dogs, the people on horseback. More than 300 volunteers have worked tirelessly since. The only clue, his car, a Subaru, which was found by the Matate Trailhead. We are uh, determined to get answers. Heidi Howard with the Sheriff's Department says it's a multi-agency search that has its challenges. It's a very large uh, mountain and the trails and the landscape out there is extremely um, up and down, lots of thick, thick brush. Um, it is not easy to navigate. And while nothing has turned up yet, they say search efforts are still very much active. The deputies rechecked some of the heat signatures from that were identified earlier from the drone flights. Um, and so I think that was the plan for this weekend. More than 2,300 miles away, Stambo's family isn't giving up hope either. So they're planning on trying to get a group together on Sunday. So if we're just begging, if anybody can get out there, and help, yeah. And help. Because yeah, it's, uh, you know, time, time's running out. And they're begging anyone with information to come forward so their loved one can hopefully be found. Jay Cunningham, 12 News.